disappointed about the, the way that game uh, turned out. Uh, a lot of credit to, to Matt Campbell and his staff. Um, they, they have a tough, rugged, hard-nosed football team, a team that, that doesn't beat itself. And um, you know, they found a way to win. They found a way to make the plays when you know the, the down the stretch that we weren't able to quite make. So um, you know, I I'd be remiss if I didn't say my heart goes out to our seniors. You know, several of them were emotional just now in the locker room, just how much that locker room and the stadium and this university and this football program have meant to them in their lives. And as I told them, um, you know how much they've meant uh, to this program and how much they've meant to, you know to, to me personally just in this. Uh, you know, in this first year, in this tough time, in this tough transition, in this tough year, they're the guys who have, you know, you know, kind of locked arm in arm with us and went to battle. And uh, I hated the guys, who, the seniors who played, didn't have a chance to walk off the field victorious. I hated that some of the other seniors didn't have a chance to play in senior day. That really bothers me. But um, I think some of the lessons that we're learning as a football program, I think the way that so many of those guys have held this team together through injuries and adversity, um, you know, we'll, we'll get good fast and uh, we'll, we'll improve quickly. And that's really a credit to them. And uh, you know, um, you know, I hope that they'll look up and see us play next year in the coming years, and have a lot of pride at what they established and what they built. And um, and uh, I can't you know, thank them enough. It was a good football game in a lot of ways. At the end of the day, it, you know, it really came down to the turnover battle, and we told our team it would. You know, we had our chances to win in the two fourth quarter red zone uh, turnovers, and our inability really to kind of take the ball away from them. You know, we certainly had our chances. Our hands were on the ball a couple times and weren't quite able to, to catch it. Um, but, uh, you know, I thought our team hung in there. I thought our team fought. I thought our team our def team on defense, you know, played well at times. We got, you know, worn down as the game went on. You know, we lost Taylor, then lost Deontay. And, uh, you know, I think some of our linebacking core got, you know, worn down and they were able to run the ball in the fourth quarter, very similar to how I'd like to be able to do it. And, um, but uh, I thought, you know, we hung in there and battled. And, and just, uh, just weren't able to take the ball away and, and weren't able to take the football. So with that, you know, we'll move forward. Short week. We have one more chance to go play a football game. And, uh, you know, we've gone from a bad football team to a, a better football team. And uh, But unfortunately, we're still a team that beats itself. Whether it's a penalty here, the snap here, um, you turn over there. And, uh, um, you know, we're just going to continue to push to make sure that everyone understands that hey, we, we can't win that way. And, once that completely clicks, and I think they know it now, they understand that they're in the locker room talking about it, but once it becomes a way of life, um, then, uh, th then we'll be a team that uh, is hard to beat. So uh, with that, let's see what question you have. Yeah, Matt, what happened to Taylor? Um, yeah, something with uh, the quad, and it seems pretty, pretty serious. I think you know, he's done. Uh, he won't play for us anymore. And uh, that was certainly a big blow to our defense. Um, and just personally, just a big blow. You know, I think I've spoken about how I feel about him, and to just not let him, to, to not let him, not to see him play. You know, finish out playing that game was disappointing, uh, just because everything he's meant to the program. But um, you know, the extent, exactly what it was, something with a quad or something. But uh, yeah, he won't play next week. Either. You mentioned it right there, but Mo and Taylor are guys that you referenced quite a bit as the seniors. You know, kind of leaders on this team. How disappointing was it to see them not be able to finish this game healthy? Well, I think any time, you know, if the program's about the players and not about you, you're always sad when they lose. I just know how much this meant to them. And I know how hard they've worked and how hard they've tried. And, and um, you know, just to not be able to have them, I really wanted them to walk off that field. And I wanted our fans to have us walk off the field victorious. But I told the seniors, that just, you know, we didn't win the game, but you know, it doesn't mean we're not winners. Those, those, those young men are winners. And um, they try to do things right, you know, and. Uh, We'll hopefully continue to just press forward with them for one more week and, and you know, enjoy one more week going out there with Brian Nance and Davion Hall and, and being a team together. Matt, what have you seen from your demons though, pretty much since the Texas game? Even though you guys have been hit with some injuries, especially in the middle, this group has really kept you in a, pretty much all four of these last games, including obviously winning Kansas. Um, I think the defense has gotten better. You know, it's clicked for them at some point. You know, you know disappointing that we gave up the two big plays. Today, you know, the deep balls they kind of you know hit on our safeties, and that one was you we know, hope you'd tackle them. I mean, they played pretty good red zone defense at times. Um, they've kept people out of the end zone. Um, you know, we weren't great on third down in the first half, but we've been better. So I just think I think on defense, you know, despite guys getting banged up, um, it's clicked. You know, that's what happens when you, you know kind of play coach knows defense. It takes a while, and we're still about halfway there. I mean, there'll be a time next year where you know the guys are just sort of clicking in terms of knowing exactly what to do and the details of everything that it takes. Um, you know, to be, to be really good on defense. But, uh, 
you know, their, their effort and their passion and their energy and their physicality show up. You know, we got to look at it a little bit off physical at times there in the fourth quarter. But um, you know, I think that was more a factor of just kind of being worn down, you know. I mean, um, so I just think, uh, you know, I think that uh, you know, we're playing a couple of seniors on defense and they, they've shown, they've taught the young guys how important it is. But I think a lot of our young players are, are getting better and better and better. And our defensive line has gotten a lot better. So we continue to improve and, and, and continue to recruit and continue to develop. I think the defense, you know, the defensive structure will continue to take off. Matt, uh, you talked about injuries and adversity that you guys have faced, and you mentioned that you know they'll be able to get good fast. I mean, as you play one more game and then go into the offseason and you start building for the next year, what will you take out of this? All the injuries that you've gone through this year, you know, and, and help what you learned. From that? Well, I think injuries number one. Um, you know, they're never good, but, but, but you do, you do build depth. You know, like Lenoy was the third, Lenoy was the third team Mike, you know, four games ago, you know, he was running down kickoff and then he was the starting Mike all today. So as we move into next season, Lenoy's play, you know, and he's made good plays, he made bad plays and, you know, um, you know, we'll continue to move forward. I think, I think we all, we also recognize that we're, we're just not a big and strong enough team yet, you know, and so there's a lot of growth and development that has to happen. Um, I'm not saying all the injuries are a result of being young and not being strong enough, but some of them are. And you know, I don't, you know, even today to have two guys, you know, just guys keep just continually just kind of going down. So you know, I think it builds the depth. It it builds the importance of being the stronger, phys more physical team. It builds the sort of that whole you know the, the sort of the way of life that we would like to have. If guys coming in and doing extra, you know, continually taking care of their body and. Um, you know, but that's really it. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, we just play a lot of guys, and so a lot of guys will come into the off season, you know, knowing, hey, this is what it takes. I do think, you know, the one thing is our guys understand, hey, this is what it takes. I mean, you know, I, I, as I said in there, like, you know, when I get up and give my boring PowerPoint in the preseason about, you know, turnover margin, that'll be very real to us. That'll be very tangible moving forward. It won't be, it won't be, oh my goodness, coach, one snack. It'll be this, this is this is real, and um, this is, uh, you know, this is serious, and so. But you know, none of it really feels good right now. But I think I do think the depth will benefit us in the long run. Any chance some of these young players who shouldn't be playing now get their brains fried, or is this all good experience no matter if they're performing well or not? Yeah, I don't think there's. So Coach Paterno used to always say, you know, better a, a play too late than a play too early. His whole point was if you, you know, if you play the kid too early, it could, it could ruin him. You know, it could, it could uh, beat him up. Um, you know, sometimes when you're really good. You know, and everyone's kind of counting on you to be really good. You play a freshman, and he lets everybody down. That's hard. You know, sometimes when you're struggling through a season, you're playing everyone. Everyone's making mistakes. You know, and so you're playing so many freshmen. So I haven't seen a guy yet that I worry about. You know, how's he going to respond? Um, you know, I, I, I just haven't even loved it. You know, I pulled him over. I said, hey, after that phone call, I said, hey, time to figure it out, brother. Like you're, you're, he's going to be a really good back. You know, like just put it away and don't let them take it from you. I mean, but I just think he's got that character. That he's not going to let that break him. He's going to make that let that make him even tougher and tougher and tougher. Will that be him all off season? Is somebody that basically stole his lunch money? <laughs> I think um, I think he I think I, I think he's fed a lot. You know, by that he's he's a, a very very you know, you know int intrinsically hardworking young man anyway. Um, but I do think you know it, it's like anything like it, until you've been beaten by something and burned by something and stung by something like. You know how important it is, but you really don't know how important it is, you know. And, and uh, we know how important it is to take care of the I mean, That's five fumbles in the red zone in the last two weeks. I mean, five fumbles in the red zone in the last, or five turnovers, I should say, excuse me, in the red zone in the last two weeks. And so, I mean, figure it out. I mean, like, let's go. So, um, I think I think what you'll see is, you know, those are two freshmen. They're doing a lot of great things. But as they grow, that will be uh, that will be experience um, that they'll pass on to the else. You still have chances after that, but how tough was that when you're two yards away from tying it there on love at Well, you know, it was tough, but I, I was pleased with our defense. Went right out and got the stop. You know, it was like, it was like, hey, hey, let's get back in this, and then just weren't able to capitalize on it. Um, but uh, you know, obviously that was, uh, you know, you have four chances. It's first and goal. There's, you know, it's not like it's fourth down. You know, you have the fourth down stop like last week. So, you know, you had four chances to take a crack at it. We were very aggressive today. In terms of fourth down, you know, going for it sort of all over the field. So you'd like to think, hey, four cracks will get in there, but we have to move forward. You know, I was really pleased with the way the defense responded. Um, you know, that's, that's the biggest thing about our defense is their brains are like, you know, changing. 
in terms of it doesn't matter what just happens, go out and play. And so uh, we just have not defensively been able to take the ball away. You know, have just, you know, you can talk about turning the ball over, you also have to take it away. And uh, we haven't been able to do that. What did Charlie tell you about the interception when you saw I didn't even I didn't even talk to him about it. I went to defense. But, you know, we went four verticals. The linebacker got up underneath it. You know, they're, they're playing eight drops. So the guy from the front side came back. You know, you, you, you'd like him just to, you know, either not make the throw or check the ball down like he had been doing so religiously to Jamichael. I mean, just playing a great game and, um, in terms of that game, you know, and uh, check the ball down and kick the field goal. We're down seven. You know, go play defense, try to get the ball back, go take a chance to win the game. And so, um, um, but, you know, it's all, you know, I don't mind, I, I shouldn't say I don't mind, like, you know, playing ball, guy comes from this side, makes a great play, so be it. But um, you, know, you just need kind of that clock in your head to say, hey, I, you know, hanging on the ball a little too long, let me check it down, continue to play. It looked like really you guys made, made a lot of safe throws with him, you wanted him to kind of make you know, a, lot of, a lot of swing outs and then just, just a lot of underneath stuff. Really well, it's just, it's really kind of the defense that they play. I mean, they're playing, you know, eight, eight drop, three man rush, eight drop. They're just saying, hey, you're not going to be this deep. Um, that's why they've been. That's why really they're like they're like they give up yards, but they're second in the conference in scoring defense. Um, you know, 18 points a game. I mean they they just defend. You know they give you all this underneath stuff and defend it. So you know, we tried to had a series there. We took a couple shots to to, to Mims and um, um, you know, got some pass interference calls. And even after that, then they play even deeper on them. Just said, hey, don't get don't let them get behind you. So what they do is smart. You know they, they force you to run the football or take what's underneath. And, um, you know, for a while there, I think we had like 90 yards rushing in the first half, so we had some improvement. Um, but, uh, you know, that's kind of, they just kind of dictated. He was, he was, I thought he was being really good about just being a pro, like to take away the deep stuff, throw the underneath stuff, and um, just kind of came back and got something. Marcus Charlie's progression since, I guess, a month ago, when the touch saw him, he actually for Virginia. I think he's, you know, progressing at a high level. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, you think about the first couple. I mean, he's not even in the he's not even in the first couple games. He's not even like on the offensive field for practice. So it's not like he's developing. He's over there playing the other team's quarterback. He's playing the scout team quarterback. So you know, all those reps compound. You know, and so if if you know he's a starter from day one till now, I think you know, and he has all those reps. Even if he's the backup, but um, you know, with Anu getting hurt and Zach getting hurt, he's been thrust into duty. I've been pleased. I mean, you know, obviously the you know, continue trying not to turn the ball over, but. We're also most of the freshman quarterback trying to run the ball and let them manage the game. We're certainly not. Like, you know, we're kind of putting the ball in Charlie's hands and saying, run and throw it, find a way to get in the end zone for his buddy. And so um, he'll continue to get better. But. I have one game left. You want, I know you want to win this last game. But other than that, what is your message to your guys with one week left to go this season? Um, you know, I, I've told them all along you know, um, that I think we're going to be really good next year. Um, but we can't worry about next year. You know, like that's the light at the end of the tunnel. But um, two things, that's an old coach trying to say this to us, but I said, you know, number one, we want to try to send the seniors out the right way. And number two, you want to build some momentum for the offseason. And part of the momentum for me is um, just continuing to learn, like, how to win. You know, you, you, you can't beat, you know, we were, we were last, you know, Baylor was last in the country last year in penalties. And I think right now, like we're like first or second in terms in, 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 in doing better in the conference in, in conference games early on. We were terrible, but in the conference games, us and Iowa State are first and second. So we're improving in some areas, you know. But you know, when the tournament battle, you had a chance. You know, I mean, we're, we're talented enough that if we just won, if we took the ball away from other people and, and didn't turn the ball over, we'd win the games. You know, so I just think a couple more things like that getting corrected. Um, you know, playing TCU, they're a great team. Who, who, you know, who knows? You know, but I do know this: we can control how we play, and we can certainly protect the football. And we don't have to just give it to them. And uh, you know, we try to we try to thought we got better. The things I was upset with last week, that we get better on kickoff today. I thought we got better. This was some of the early on our specialists were struggling a little bit, but then I thought we improved a little bit. So um, I want to send the seniors out the right way, and I want to certainly um, continue to try to learn what it takes to win. You know. Um, we know what we know what it takes. You know we know how to avoid losing, and now you have to make that turn where you start saying, okay, let's go take the ball away. You know, let's go block a punt. Let's you know let, these are the things. You know, let's go jump up and catch the ball. Let's let's go make the plays that it takes to go be a great team. And so that's that's just the next step in the progression. Seeing how aggressive you were, can you take us through the thought process there at the end and decide to kick it away as opposed to going forward? On which one? Uh, fourth down, late in the game, get the ball back, and then uh, you're down by. 
seven, maybe I'm misremembering. I decided to go for it, decided not to go for it. There. You were at the 30 yeah. 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 about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I don't remember. Down, down seven? Yeah. On, on our own 38? Yeah. Oh, on their 30? Yeah, I, yeah, I'm with you. I was in exactly. Room. Yeah, it was like third and like eight, the fourth and eight. Right. And so one score game, and I thought we were going to be able to stop them. And I just kind of felt like, hey, we're playing decent on defense. And so I thought, hey, let's, let's pin them. Um, you know, they're going into the wind. <laughs> let's pin them, play defense, and try to get the ball back. Um, if, I, if I have the, the – anyway, I think that's when we did get the oh, – they went down and kicked the field edge right here. Yeah, so um, I thought we'd have a chance to, to pin them, you know. And so um, um, as opposed to giving them the ball, you know, fourth and seven. If it had been fourth and four or less, I probably would have gone for it. But fourth and seven, you know, if we don't get it there, then, then they're certainly in the field goal game. So I was just trying to play the one-score game and know when we get the ball back. So. Yeah, so you know, I, I said a mistake, and you instead of making you make it from there, he was like, "Yeah, you know, I can make it from there." So, um, but he did, you know, he did a nice job. They early on, as I said, our specialists were a little bit, a little bit out of whack. I thought they settled down, and then um, that was uh, that was a big time kick, big time kick. I was gonna, you know, the last one, I was gonna give him a chance to kick another one there and, and try to make it a one score game. Um, you know, I think he was a little down on himself a couple of times, you know, hey, I could have made this play, I could have made it. I just kept saying, just keep playing, bro. you know. So it's always it's always so hard to tell how everybody does, but I think, you know, I was proud of him, pressed in action, went out there, you know, was making the right tracks, trying to get us on the same page. And um, you know, I thought that you know, overall, that, you know, seemed like he did a pretty good job. So uh, you go back and watch the tape, see exactly, you know, what he did right, what he did wrong. Um, you know, it'll you know, be a great experience for him moving forward. Matt, you've tried to teach these guys something. Eric Obor didn't play today, was not dressed out today. You sent him home last night or today. What happened? Um, I sent him home last night um, because, I'm you know, speaking generalities, right? Because I didn't feel like he was doing what everyone else was doing. You know, I didn't feel like, you know, we, we hand him a test on Thursday night. The test takes a long time, and you guys work at it. It shows your teammates that you're, that you're prepared and that you're, you know, Sure, going to do what everyone else does. And uh, when he handed his in, um, to me, it showed that he wanted to do his own thing and didn't want to be a part of the team. And um, you know, I'm always, as I told him, I said, I love you. You just can't play for me. You know, I love you. You just can't go out there and represent us tomorrow. So, um, you know, doesn't, you know, it's you know, like anything with our kids, right? It doesn't mean we don't love our kids when we discipline them. And, you know, I love Eric, but uh, there's a standard. And there's, um, there's, uh, there's a, not even just a standard, there's like a brotherhood, you know, like if if I go to leave my office on Wednesday night at 9.45 and Taylor Young is in the linebacker room working on stuff on his own, then don't come in on Thursday, don't come in on Friday and not be focused. Don't come in on Friday and not be prepared. Don't come in on Friday and be, I hate to use this word, but be selfish in terms of the things that you did. So I'm speaking in generalities because I always want to protect our players, but um, he wasn't willing to do what everyone else did. When you say he can't play for you, is that today or is that? Oh, I, I always, I always deal with things in one day. I might be a little, bit, I guess the word would be hyperbolic, but I said can't play for me. Sorry. So, no, but you know, I, I, uh, you know, I'm always here to help kids. I'm not here to just get rid of kids. I'm here to help move them forward. And I hope as he watched, I love Erica, but I hope as he watched the game that was painful. <coughs> I hope as he saw, I hope as he saw uh, Taylor go down and Jalen have to play the whole game instead of being able to go play Will. And, we're down to four line, well, three or four scholarship linebackers in that game. The 23-13 game, you know, we were in, it was 20-13, you know, I hope that was painful, I hope he rose from it, I hope he moves forward from it. But, you know, he, 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 he didn't break a wall, you know, he didn't do anything like here, but he did something here for me. And that's, uh, he just set a standard. All right.